Hey guys, welcome back to our final interview for tonight. We always save the best for last. Without further ado, I want to introduce you to my acting family, actress, retired firefighter, my sister, Sandra Nelson, and her son, who's going to be an actor too. <laughs> What's up, guys? Happy Friday. Friday. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank, thank you for you. having me. Girl, let me tell y'all, I've been trying to get Sandra booked for so long. Yeah, And it finally happened. So I'm happy. Yeah. So let me tell you, me and Sandra started out on, was it what, Chicago Med or Chicago Fire? Med. We started out on Med um, back in my background days. Me too. And I have been rocking with her and watching her grow. It's just so beautiful, you guys. So let, let, let's start out, Sandra. Um, first of all, welcome. Thank and your you. son, welcome to On the Scene. Let's start out by talking a little bit about you. Okay. I'm a superstar. <laughs> well, I started like probably about four or five years ago. Uh-huh. Is that four or five years? It was 2016. 2016? Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, I started out in I started, yeah, with um, Chicago Fire. Mm-hmm. Um, it took me four months to get on. I don't think they believe I was a fireman, uh-huh. but it took four months. And after okay. then, it just kept, I just kept applying and just kept going. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, mm-hmm. Before I retired, uh, one of the firemen is an actor and a model okay. on his days off because you know firemen have extra, mm-hmm. day, you know, mm-hmm. hours to do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. So he was like, "Well, what are you gonna do when you retire?" And I'm like, "I don't know," because I was going to go to law school. And he was oh, like, "Okay, law school." Uh-huh. I was like, "Ah," oh. I'm like, "What's wrong?" I was like, yeah. "Okay, maybe a nurse." He goes, "No." He goes, "Well, what hey, what's wrong with being a nurse?" I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, why don't you be an actor? And uh-huh. I said, they're not going to pick me. Uh-huh. He goes, why? I go, I'm too old. He goes, no, you're not. I said, I'm not pretty enough. He goes, he goes, oh, my God. See, and that's <laughs> he was like too through with me. He was like, I'm going to show you how to do it. But if you've never been on a set before, if you've never been behind the camera, uh-huh. then you need to do some background. Yes. Work. And I was like. Totally agree what is that. a background work? Mm-hmm. What is that? So mm-hmm. he talked me into applying for Chicago Fire and told me how to do it. And it just kept. And then when I did a few shows, I came back. He was like, okay, did you learn something? And uh-huh. I'm like, yeah. And his name is Veron Strickland. So okay. he said I can give his name. So. Okay, shout out to Veron Strickland. <laughs> I hope you watch him, Veron. He will be. Okay. And uh, he said, I'm going to send you to get some headshots. Yep. And I'm like. He goes, but you need to save like three hundred dollars. <laughs> I said three hundred dollars for they what? Cheap. <laughs> said, they are not cheap. <laughs> three hundred, yeah. So I saved up the three hundred dollars mm-hmm. and uh, got my headshots. So I go, now what do I do? And mm-hmm. he's like, well, you're gonna try to see if you can get an agent. Mm-hmm. I said, look, this is not. Gonna <laughs> y'all, y'all I'm gotta put it. It's a lot of work. It's home. a lot of work. <laughs> so he's like, no, you're gonna try. Mm-hmm. And that's when, um, 2018, I think Dream Team Talent came to town. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Vilma. Vilma. Dream Hi, Team Vilma. Talent. <laughs> My agent. Hey. And um, I had an interview, and I did a little audition and got signed with her. Okay. Yeah. And, and look her at her now, y'all. <laughs> Amazing. Now, let, let's backtrack. You were a firefighter for how long? About 22 years. Wow. Mm-hmm. And then I went back, and I helped out being a fire inspector. Okay. Because I was working part time as a fire inspector and full time as a fireman. Okay. So um, it it was rough. I can I mean, imagine. You know, I'm a black female in right. that world, right? And then, of course, running into house fires. You know, wow. got hurt a few times. I was just not about to seriously. ask, did you have any? Okay. No, not burnt by seriously. Uh-huh. No, but um, it's it, it's it's difficult. But I did it because I was a single uh, mom. Okay. With two sons. Okay. And I think to me, that fell in my lap and God saying, Mm -hmm. this is to take care of your children. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Because I did a lot of praying, a lot of praying, a lot Uh of crying, a lot of praying. A lot of crying, (laughs) a lot of praying. But 
I did pray for a lot of people, mm -hmm. you know, because we only show up when people in emergency mm -hmm. situations. Mm -hmm. You're either crying, you're hurt, mm -hmm. something happened, mm -hmm. you know. So it is a um, a situation that you have to get used to, and you know that being mm -hmm. a nurse mm -hmm. because you get the other end of it. Because mm -hmm. we used to say, "Well, they was alive before they went to the hospital. <laughs> what did you do to them?" You know, because the nurses in the what did you do? To them? Look, we did our job. Right, right. So right. what did you do? <laughs> They always like, we didn't do anything. We, we can't help it, you know. Okay. But give me does. give me um one of your um I would say being a fire, what was one of like your scariest moments that you can remember? Um we had a call, like we go to twenty different towns. We just don't mm -hmm. stay in Markham. So we okay. went to Robbins, mm -hmm. and I had never been to Robbins. Well, I had been to Robbins, but I'd never been on a bad fire there. Oh, wow. So there was like 10 of us in the kitchen. Uh -huh. And so one guy had stepped on in the kitchen, and I kind of felt the floor. Ooh. I'm like, oh, no, I'm out of here. And they're like, where you going? <laughs> oh, I'm no. going. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. it, it just felt like the floor went, when he, he stepped on it, he's not a big guy. Mm -hmm. The floor went, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I got to go out of here. You know, like, I'll be wait. gone. Yeah. But um, then that's what happens. You can step on the floor in a fire, and it just, it, you end up in the basement. Or you end up, Ooh. yeah. You know, um, oh, flashovers, you know, mm. um, things happen. Mm -hmm. You know, um, pulling people out. I had a, a little boy that, I guess, when you use the lock on the door, mm -hmm. people got them locks. Yep. That, they have the key, mm -hmm. and they don't leave the key in the door. No, the key is somewhere else. Mm -hmm. so somebody's house caught on fire. They didn't use. They didn't have the key. Uh -huh. So them two, the fa the grandson and the son, was at the door. Mm -hmm. So when you tried to open the door, there was behind the door. That's how you know somebody's behind because you can't even open the door. Wow. And it was them two. So when they pulled them out, they handed me the kid, uh -huh. and somebody else took the dad. Wow. You know. Uh -huh. So I tell people all the time, mm -hmm. if you got the key in that front door. You either leave that key in that front yep. door or you get unlocked that turns, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because then you have the key somewhere else right. in your pocket on the keychain. You can't get out the door. Wow. And the smoke, the fire won't kill you. The smoke is going to mm -hmm. kill you. That mm -hmm. smoke right inhalation. Right at the door. Yeah. Definitely. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I did it a lot. And then the, then I did the fire inspection. I, w I really loved that. Uh-huh. It's my first... Um, the first inspection that I wanted to do was the churches Okay. in my town. Uh -huh. Nobody has never did the churches before. Wow. And so okay. when I would go to the pastor, they were like, you want to do what? <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> you know, because I'm making the, uh, it's like pre-inspection. So uh -huh. before the fire starts. Okay. So they was like, what? I'm like, yep. And I'm like, they were like, okay. And then a couple of my family had some extinguishers in the closet. I'm uh -huh. like, oh, that don't belong in the closet. Right. That belongs, you know, right. out there in the sanctuary. And right. So, yeah, it was fun. Wow. But um, got a lot of respect for doing that. And they gave me my own squad car. They gave me a okay. badge, <laughs> a okay. white shirt. Uh -huh. I come home in the squad car because I, I work in the same town that um, I lived in. Okay. And mark them so I could sneak home, and I'll bring the fire truck home sometimes because I didn't forgot something. I uh -huh. had to go look at something, and I bring amazing. the fire. Yeah, I think the neighbors went in like that too, mm -hmm. <laughs> because the fire truck comes and mm -hmm. comes down, mm -hmm. and Paul, there she is coming home again. So wow. it was fun. And now three sixty, full time. Yeah, actress. All thanks to Baron Strickland. Yep. So shout yep. him out. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So now, acting, how has that changed you in so many? It's been different, mm -hmm. you know, because I think as a fireman, I um, I didn't wear makeup a lot. You know, mm -hmm. you wear foundation, but I didn't do mm -hmm. too much. And now it's all about glam. Yep. Yeah. You yeah. know, your hair got to be perfect. Uh -huh. And then, you know, I started taking classes and I take classes, you know, it took the Book more TV with Christine mm -hmm. Horn. Mm -hmm. Shout out the to Christine thing, Horn. Hey, Christine. Hey. The Hollywood Bound Actors. <laughs> right in the house. Yes. I was like, the first thing I got to ask her, what do you do with your hair? <laughs> <laughs> this is, so uh -huh. she actually answered that question for me. Mm -hmm. Just wigs. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, because mm -hmm. I couldn't tell whether my hair was going to stay or it's not going to stay. It was a mess. So 
Um, That's so a great that investment, changed, y'all. And now I have to go from not acting like a, a man, because mm-hmm. in a man's job, to coming back to who I am, mm-hmm. which is a female. Right. You know, walking, right. talking, you know, not being so rough, mm-hmm. you know. Um, mm-hmm. I kind of like it. Though. I think my yeah. mom would be happy if she was here that, oh, oh God, she's out of that job. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Amazing. So that's girl. exciting for me. Amazing. And then I have to congratulate you um, on your Chicago PD role. Thank you. I saw that episode. She killed it, y'all. She killed it. So she was a judge. I have her picture of her from that scene. So if you guys take a look up there. Um, How was that? Talk that was exciting. That. Mm-hmm. And you know, when you do, and I think a lot of people, like you was just telling somebody, I think you need to do background work. Yes. I, because then I when totally you actually agree. get a role or a co-star or, or a guest star role, mm-hmm. you're not so afraid to walk on set. Nope. And that's I why mean, you tell, just walk all day. You're right, just right. getting the perks of, yeah. would you like some coffee? Is there anything I can do for you? Do you like this? Do you like mm-hmm. that? Do you so want me to true. go get this for you? Like, <laughs> let me tell you, the first time I was on set, it's like when I did Chicago Med. Um, the first time I was on Chicago Med, um, I didn't even know it wasn't in like a real hospital. It was, a, I think it was, it was, a, it was a yeah. space, and I was just like, what? <laughs> so I was like, wait, but it looked like a real hospital. So it's amazing. So I tell actors, you know, people who are. Young actors, you know, people trying right. to get into it. Background. Because then you get a feel for what it is to be on set. And the whole lingo. The terminology. The termino- Pantomime. Pantomime, please. Quite on set. Yeah. Rolling. And it's, it's just amazing to see how much goes into one scene. Yes. Like, hours. Yes. I'll never forget um, my scene... On, was that? It was a crossover scene for Med. I know. Uh, hopefully his mom will see this. So I had two little boys. So they came in and they, they called me. They were like, do you mind carrying a little boy, you know, in this scene? I was like, oh, yeah, sure. I'm good. Okay. They, they didn't tell me that, you know, I'd be doing that for hours. Um, So I had, the scene was, you know, his, his dad mm-hmm. had gotten a car accident. And got hurt. So they brought him into Chicago Med. Mm -hmm. So I was a nurse to, you know, console him. So we did that one scene of me carrying him how many times? About 10 times. Yeah, about 10 times. I was so sore and so tired. But, yeah, it's it's just amazing to know, like, how many times you got to do it. And, um, yeah, it's long hours, like 12. I think the longest time I was on set was 15 hours. And it was on PD. I did that on Empire, and actually, Ooh. my sons called me to say, "Where are you at? What's going Let on?" Let me I'm tell like, you. I'm just check getting... in. I yes. check in. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot, and sometimes you get you check in, and you don't film for like three, four hours. Yeah, I fell asleep. Before. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I I learned to bring some books. Uh, yeah, snacks. I books. just I treat it like jury duty. Yeah. Just yeah. So amazing. That's exactly what I do. Amazing. So. And I was kind of shocked when I seen that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's a good way to start um, yes. to get a feel of what goes into what you see. That's true. You know, the final product. Right. And uh, how much is cut out. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's amazing. It, it's a process. Um, Especially when players. they cut you out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like, like that scene. You know? And no. you never, and the thing is, you never know until you see it. Yeah, so you just yeah. hope that you, you know, your, your part made the, the cut. Yeah. You know, so amazing. And now you're introducing your son into it. So Yes. I did yeah. uh, Millennial and uh, Millennial Impossible. Okay. Um, to, with director Chris Stone. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and they needed a background. So okay. he's like, he seen me post pictures of my son. So he was like, could you send me a couple of pictures of your son? See? I'm like, okay. Never know who's watching. He's like, Oh, I got a role for him. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. So okay. then he, I talked to him, and uh-huh. he got it. There you go. Yeah, it was actually an interesting let's, experience. Let's introduce yeah. yourself to everybody. Tell us a little bit. I'm Travis. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, I'm, I'm a fan of the arts, and actually I'm just getting started with this, and it's actually interesting to me. Okay. Now, you have you done 
background work on any of the Chicago shows yet? No, I haven't done any background. This was like a spur of the moment, pretty okay. much. He yeah. came out of nowhere, and then I don't know. If, uh, he might end up using me in the future because uh-huh. he's working to do more. I don't know. But, and that's uh, how it starts. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's how it and starts. And I didn't have the experience of, like, the long long day. We was in the cold. I tell mm-hmm. you that. So we mm-hmm. was cold, but <laughs> I didn't have the I remember experience those days. of mm-hmm. long days. And, you mm-hmm. know, we had to do so many takes. I think I did two or three. Mm-hmm. Few, um, and... But I, I understand from my, seeing my mom do it, it mm-hmm. long days, mm-hmm. a lot of times put in, like you said, you might not get shown at the end of it. Yep. You might mm-hmm. not. But it, it's, it's interesting. I'm just, I'm a fan of it. That's amazing. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And who yeah. better else to guide you than yeah. Yeah. Superstar mom here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Amazing. And we had a premiere and he, he came, we came mm-hmm. and okay. he saw himself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and know, see, that's, that's how it starts. Theater, yeah. Really. That's it how was, it starts. It was inspiring to see. Let it, me yeah. tell you. So, I got one of my friends at, at work. They were like, "Oh, Marva, you know, they looking for real nurses on Chicago Fire." I was like, "Oh, yeah, okay, you know." And then I thought about it. I was like, "It'd be kind of cool to see yourself on TV." Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I was like, so I reached out to one of my friends who had been doing, um, um, working as a firefighter on. Chicago Fire. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, what do I do? How, how do I do this this background thing? And got on Chicago Fire. No, Med. Okay. Um, there was a post for real nurses. So I was like, okay, well. I did it and totally forgot all about it. So I'm at work and then they're like, yeah, this. I was like, answer the phone. They're like, hi, this is so and so from Chicago Med and Berlin. I'm like. Oh, okay. They're like, you are you still available? I was like, oh, okay. It's like, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Went through the whole thing, and I was like, okay. And then I was at work, so my doctors and they were like, and I was like, okay. You know, I just played off like, yeah, okay. Right. And then my number, I was like, okay. And I was like, hung up the phone. Like, oh. <laughs> no, I know, because I had totally forgot. And then I went on set, and. Like you know, all my favorite actors. And it's just like it was a whole like I was all starstruck. Like, oh my god. He's right there. I know. <laughs> like, right there. But it's amazing. It's an, it's it an experience. Yeah. And I do recommend, yeah. like, anyone getting into yeah. it for the first time, definitely do it. Definitely do it. That is true. So. That is true. Amazing. I'm amazing. not too much starstruck. So I'm like a soap opera girl. So if it was a soap opera scene, you know, like, uh-huh. the, 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 uh-huh. the bold and beautiful. And, and I, I think I'd be in trouble. You know, if it's trouble. like. I think I was like picture for me taking being, the you know, because you see, you know, for me seeing all of my favorite actors and stuff, but to actually yeah. be in person and then right. like, wow. And then it's, people it's say, so, I saw you, I saw you, I saw you. Let I'm me like, tell what? you, I was not ready. For, I was not expecting that. Because, you know, with me being on, you know, he gave me little tips and stuff of what to do. And, he, and I, the first time I was on, it was 12 hours. And they were like. They were like, if, if they if they asked if you want to do, just do it. So, like, everything. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. So, when I saw the episode, I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. My phone was blowing up. Everybody's like, oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> I, was, I came back to work. They're like, oh, my God, I saw you. I saw you. I was like. It's kind of fun. We did yeah. med together. Yeah. Oh, okay. The yeah. Scene, okay. The one oh, yeah. that I did while I was standing there with, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, it, yeah. and you know, okay. I, so I did that and I was like, this is kind of cool. And I was like, oh, let me try the other shows. Let, let, let me try the other shows. But um, yeah. So I did that for two years and I was like, you know, I want to do this for. I did it for a long time. I'm going to do this for like a real thing. So, you know, I took classes. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to. Antoine McKay, I tr- you know I started out with him as yeah, my yeah. my acting coach, and then um, also my girl Deanna Reed Foster, she's also my acting coach as well. So um, yeah, I'm loving it. So it's been what seven years now. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, I love it. I love it, I and I'm still really trying like to, it. you know. So my little hashtag is you know nurse by day, actress yes. by night. Yeah, that's so. what her hashtag. Oh, I like that. Yes, nurse, nurse, by, nurse by, day. by day, actress by night, or like actress by. Yeah, and Travis knows that I'm. Best friends with Maureen Forte. Uh-huh. We actually do a lot of work together. Yes. We talk mm-hmm. on the phone. Did you get that post? Yep. Did you get this post? Yes. It's so exciting yep. to have new friends in yep. that acting business. And then and when I see the shows supporting. now, yeah. when I watch the shows now, I'm like, oh, let me see who my who are my acting mm-hmm. family. Let me see. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Amazing. And now we actually do watch. I don't think I watched background people before. I don't think I ever did. Nope. 
I Mm-mm. really don't. But now, no. yep. I'm like, okay. Let me see how many of my friends is in it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So tell me, um, before I do the give, what would be your best advice to, because it's not, let me first put it out there, y'all. It is not easy. No. Trying to be in the acting business and still working a nine to five. It is so tough. So I want to know, what would you tell somebody? Like, let's say another, you know. Are they retired or are they working? Or working. retired. Yeah, you're retired. But let's say back in the day when you were, what advice would you give? For someone who's trying to get into it and still doing their their regular nine to five. You have to stay strong. You just Mm -hmm. have to keep going. You know, um, my 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 schedule was a little different because mm-hmm. firemen only work eight days a month, so mm-hmm. twenty days we didn't okay. do nothing. So it's easy to poke around and mm-hmm. you know can't do this day, but I got twenty other days mm-hmm. that I can work. Mm-hmm. But people that have a job, if you if that's your passion and that's what you really want to do, you're gonna have to stick it out, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You know that's what Christine Horn says. That you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do, gotta do. right? Mm-hmm. So I would just keep taking classes. Mm-hmm. Stay strong and just work it. Yep. There's nothing else that you really can do. You got to be patient too and not be yes. so anxious and upset. Like, mm-hmm. you know, if you didn't get this and you didn't get that, you know. So yep. yeah. And always, I think you would have to keep your business to yourself if you did have a nine to five job. So oh, you yeah. don't want to tell nobody. Yeah. Because People will squeal on you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> right. You exactly. don't want to call off work and then go do some mm-hmm. And then they see you on TV. Like, <laughs> you know the funny thing about it? You don't know when that was shot. That could have been shot that's on true. Saturday. That's true. You know what I'm that's saying? That's true. That could have been shot on that's Saturday. True. So that's another thing you can get away with doing. Mm-hmm. Right. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. All right. Give me your top five um, directors, producers. That are alive that you would want to work with. Well, for right now, Spike Lee, mm-hmm. he's Tyler a Perry. Yeah. Um, Viola Davis' husband, ain't they? They doing? They they got their own production company. Yeah. Um, I don't only really, only have a few for right now because okay. I don't really. I guess I'm all into acting. I'm not really paying attention okay. to the directors. <laughs> <laughs> There's one director called Wesley, I think his name is, from mm-hmm. L.A. Mm-hmm. I kind of like him. Okay. I like how he does his, you know, direct. I think he did a couple times on Chicago Fire or, okay. or something like that, and I okay. met him. So Awesome. And the guy that used to work for Sanford and Son, he was the little boy on Sanford and Son mm-hmm. a long time ago. I can't remember his name. He was really nice, too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He was a director now, so. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And then my best friend is a director now. He's okay. He's just starting out. He's got three shows. Uh-huh. Hello, Marcus Head. <laughs> okay, Marcus Yeah, Head. so. Shout out. That's okay. about it. All right, Travis, I know you just, you, you're coming in. Mm-hmm. New. Um, if, give me your top three directors, producers, actors, or actresses that you would want to work with. Top three. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Spike Lee would be good. I, yep. I, I, I like I like his work. Okay. Um, actors. I think Terrence Howard. I think I'd like to experience that. And I'm trying to think of another director, another actor. Mm-hmm. Um, one of those. Um, I can't think of his name, but it's it's um. Is it a director or actor? No, actor. One okay. of the top, but uh, um, I'm bad with names. I'm sorry. What are they playing? Um, he got it. He's one of the top people. What's the one? Um, from the Training Day. Denzel, Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I would love to work. Oh, with. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I'm bad with names, yeah. but yeah, okay. I think those top three okay. I can get off the top of my head. Yeah. Awesome. And awesome. I see why the people are good. I I did some research. They went to Juilliard. Uh-huh. He went to Shakespeare. Uh huh. Oh, we didn't do all that. Nope. Did we? <laughs> nope. uh-uh. Uh-uh. Will they let us in there now? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Amazing, amazing, yes. amazing. So, Sandra, how can people find you? Um, you can uh, on Facebook. I'm Sandra Nelson slash actress. Mm-hmm. Instagram. I'm firefighter underscore turn underscore actress. I like it. I and like TikTok, it. TikTok. I think I'm Sa- actress Sandra Nelson on TikTok. So there you go. Mm-hmm. 
All right. And Travis, where can people find you? Uh, I'm on Facebook, Travis Fletcher, F-L-E-T-C-H-E-R. And Instagram is Infinitus963, I-N-F-I-N-I-T-U-S-963. Awesome. So, Sandra, are you working on anything currently I have that a you can talk show about? coming up on Wednesday okay. that I can't talk about. But okay. I got it from myself. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hey, you I know, like at that. the end of the day, you know, we have agents, but we they will tell you you are still your own agent. So. Yes. Yes, I got that from Backstage. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. So nice. I have I committed to Backstage. Uh-huh. Up to Date Actor. Okay. I think it's uptodateactor.com. Okay. And Actors Access that we do. Mm-hmm. What else? The Casting Network. Casting Network. But I leave those for the agents unless yeah. they see something that's, yeah. you know. Yeah. But Backstage, I've gotten some voiceover from there, too. I was just going to so ask, have you really done good. voiceover? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Do you um, ever think of, like, getting behind the camera, like, writing your own stuff, producing? No. Um, yeah, today. Somebody said I think I should. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll see about that mm-hmm. later, so. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I want to congratulate you. Thank you. Um, You've been doing it. I'm you? <laughs> no, you are not trying. You are doing it. I'm proud of you. Yeah, um, you. And it's nice that you're going to get your son involved. Mm-hmm. Now, is your other son? Um, no, he's a wrestler. Okay. Like a, <laughs> okay. SCW yeah, wrestler. He's wow. He's SCW. Yeah, yeah SCW. He's okay. a wrestler. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's been his passion pretty much all his life. Yeah, really. Yeah. Watched wrestling all of the hours. So wow. he's got a trainer, and he's actually what is that? A uh, personal trainer. He got certified yeah, he got a personal as a trainer. A mm-hmm. Personal trainer. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So. Mm-hmm. And they do little. They do shows. Um, I don't know if they're they're not recorded on TV, but they're on YouTube. They put yeah. it on okay. YouTube. So he's been doing. He's been doing it for a while. Okay. It scares yeah. the rest of us. You I, know, bet. Like, oh. I bet. I bet. I bet. That's amazing. Yes. Well, I want to congratulate you. I wish you Thank all you. the best. Good luck with you, Travis. Appreciate you it. jumping it. on in and you know, following mom's footsteps. Yeah, appreciate it. yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun. It's a lot of work. It's hard yeah, work. I love the yeah. art, so, but yeah. you know, you have to have a passion for it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And he's my reader, ninety percent. Oh, yeah, see, yeah, there I'm you go. Because you, you definitely yeah. need them read <laughs> for them <laughs> for those self tape uh, auditions and stuff. Yeah. Better we do yeah. 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 audition. Yeah. I need to read them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. So amazing. Um, you definitely got to come back and follow up. Thank you for Travis. So you know. You got to come back, you know. I'll be back. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> gotta, back. You know, you, you got to bring your uh, uh your other son, the wrestler. You got to you should you, you got to bring him home. Yeah, that'd be cool. That yeah, was, I make it a family affair. I make it a family try affair. to get him here. Yeah, because he's busy. Okay, well we're, we're gonna catch him. <laughs> Margaret on the scene is gonna get him. Yes, on his downtime. But um, thank you guys for thank you finally thank coming you. out and hanging yeah. with me. I will get you your gifts. Okay. I should get them in next week. Okay. Um, thank you for it. Keep grinding. Keep shining. You too. Keep, thank you. I'm trying. You too. I'm trying. Um, good luck, Travis. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you have a great mentor. Yeah. No, great, she is. great inspirator right yeah, here. Definitely. So good luck with that. I'm looking forward to seeing you. So I'll be like, oh, I know him. That's <laughs> Travis. She That's will. Savvy. I will. She will. I will. I will be posting this. So yeah, good luck and thank good luck you. and. You know, hopefully we get to work together. I know. Because we did, what was it, Empire? Yes. Yes. And I was taking care of Taraji P. Henson. Um, yeah. And, and she was so, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Can't. I was we'll be working together again. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. I got a lot of camera time on that Let one. me so tell you. Did, so did you, because I pointed him out. And it too. was so hot. It yeah. was so hot that day. I was like, if, if we don't. Come on and film this scene already <laughs> before I pass out. But yeah, that that was and it was it was a great um great scene. Yeah, yeah. But I'm proud of you guys. Keep going. Thank you. Thank you. The sky's the limit, and I can't wait to see what Thank you. unfolds for you the fall this year and next year. You yeah. too. And you know when you make it to Hollywood, just don't you know don't. Don't forget me. No, I won't. Don't look at her. Don't forget me. I'd be like, I know I her. Nobody. You guys have been so I know sweet her. To I know she, I had her on my show, y'all. <laughs> I worked with her when we were doing that. 
<laughs> no, but seriously, um, it was a blessing. It was an honor. Thank you. Come back and hang out with us. Okay. All right. Love it here. Love it. Thank you. All right, guys, that is it. That's our final show interview for tonight. Come back and hang out with us in next week. I'll be back next week, Friday. Stay well, stay blessed, never give up, keep shining, keep grinding, and that's it. Peace. May I help you? Uh, yes, I have an appointment with Dr. Haja, 3 p.m. I'm going on the mission. Do people do any research whatsoever these days? The earth is definitely flat. You guys are 50 years old, figure it out. It's pathetic. Please, don't worry. I have made you a partner. Congratulations. Let's hear it, everyone. You know, Pastor is expected at your Bentley. I just want to iron A bit of a miracle, Mr. Morris. There's, I worked for mine. Um, Oh, you're going down. <laughs>